So, welcome to the conclusion of uh, this part. Now, very small part is there to conclude. Because when I was recording, something happened. Okay, so there are some parts missing from the lecture. Okay, so I would like to uh, repeat once again the last part. I already got that due to some technical problem, errors, of course, uh, occurred in between. So I will uh, repeat once again. So the last uh, paragraph of the lesson, okay, that means democracy uh, always uh, expect, expectations from democracy also functions as criteria for judging any democratic tendency. What is the most distinctive, uh, distinctive feature of democracy is that democracy's examination never gets off. My dear children, what do you understand? Democracy's examination never gets over. That means when democracy passes one examination, again it pays another examination. From this you can understand that whenever democracy provides something to the people, they demand for more. Every citizen they demand for more. So democracy is giving more from one another. What is given today and again more people demand for more. As people get some benefits of democracy, they ask for more and want to make democracy even better. That is why when we ask people about the way democracy function, they will always come up with more expectations. What is our expectations? Everything we blame democracy. You know that. If something happened in Rome, always we try to simply blame democracy. This is a uh, uh, most important uh, feature of the people of uh, those who live in a democracy. What is wrong in a democracy? We always uh, uh, blame democracy for making. So people, now you can understand that the fact that people are complaining is itself a testimony to the success of democracy. When people complain to the democracy, about the working of democracy, sometimes people start to comply. The testimony of the success of democracy. When people start to express their publicly their dissatisfaction of poor government function. People started to express their dissatisfaction towards the government. That means people are able to critically evaluate the performance of the government. These are very important. When you critically or, or express your dissatisfaction of the government function, you are able to critically examine the government. And now, it transform people from the status of a subject till now you are a subject from the status of a subject to a, the status of a citizen you emerge as, uh, as from the uh, subject of a citizen a subject of a uh, su subject okay status of a subject to the status of a citizen so this is what democracy do all over the world from the status of a subject to the status of a citizen by providing whatever you want, the democracy gives. And people start to blame and people start to express publicly their dissatisfaction towards democracy. That means you are able, able to uh, critically evaluate the performance of the government. Now, these are the two important social outcomes of democracy. That is, accommodation of social diversities and dignity and freedom of the individual. My dear children, with this, we come to the conclusion of this lesson. And uh, I would like to express my sincere thanks to you to watch all these videos and always asking your queries. And I appeal you to listen once again videos, lectures and hereby I inform you that 
This is the last lesson from the textbook of democratic politics. According to the syllabus of CBSC, we have completed the entire topics of uh, democratic politics. In the next class, we will start some other textbook. And uh, advise once again all lessons. Thank you.